So today I'm showing off my 2001 Sensui TV VCR combo. And looking at the back, you can see that it is model number COM311ADA. And yes, indeed, it was manufactured in June 2001. And of course, I do have the remote and you can see it right here. It is actually in pretty nice shape. It does work on two AAA batteries. And in the day, the Sensui uh, TV VCR combos kind of advertised the fact that they will, would do AC and DC power operation. So these were really popular with, let's say, RV travelers. People with RVs would stick these in uh, their RVs and uh, when they're camping, uh, you could actually run these off of DC uh, power and I'll show you the connection and back in just a minute. But let's just look at the front of the unit. Uh, initially, this little HQ thing doesn't do anything. It's just decorative. Uh, headphone jack, of course, power. We have the volume up and down. We have channels up and down. These are the controls for the VCR itself. We have stop and eject, uh, rewind, play, fast forward, and this is the record button. This is just a little uh, indicator screen with, which turns on some lights that show power and recording, etc. This is just AV uh, RCA connectors. It looks like it only has one uh, speaker, so it is mono, not stereo, and you can tell that by it only has one uh, audio jack. So looking at the back of the unit, it is an, a uh, CRT monitor, so it is a deep unit. Uh, it does have a couple of handle holds right here, since uh, you can carry this thing around, and that helps uh, these hand holds make things easier. And then you have some inputs and outputs here. You have a uh, coaxial input here from either an antenna or another device. Uh, you have audio uh, video here input as well. This I believe is for uh, AV1 uh, input on the front side. I think that's AV2. And then you have an uh, audio video uh, output where you can send that to other devices. And so here, this right here is the DC input. Uh, so for DC power, you can connect it. You can hook up DC power right there. You do have a uh, power cable right here for the AC uh, uh, plug right there. But you can, uh, if you can see this, for let's say RV use or connecting it to a battery, you can have a DC input, which is kind of cool. So we did plug it in, so let's go ahead and power it up. So the power button on the remote is right here. We'll go ahead and hit power. Hopefully it will start up. And sure enough, it's on channel three. You can hear the static. I don't believe it's on mute. You have a mute button right here. Uh, no, it's not. This is kind of cool that it, it does mute the static. Uh, you don't get that on all the TVs. Now there's the channel up and down button right here. Uh, so we were on channel three, we're on four, but if you go down uh, below channel one, I believe, there you go, you get the different lines. So line two, line one, line one was the uh, AV connectors in back, line two is the AV connectors here. And so if you want inputs from that, that's where you would view that on the TV. So you don't have to run uh, your VCR to get displays. If you have, let's say, a DVD, you could plug it into one of the AV inputs and go ahead and play it on the TV. And so a couple of things on the remote. We do have a menu button right here, so we'll go ahead and hit that. And you can get just a system setup. You could, uh, so let's see, uh, there's an enter button here and there's kind of a plus negative button here. It kind of shows you what to do there. So this plus negative button you can scroll up and down the menu just like that. When you want to select something like clock set, you go ahead and hit enter. And there you go. You could go ahead and, you know, it's the month. I believe it's month 11 right now. So there you go. And we could just change this to the proper date. And the year 2023. We'll just keep the time at 12 since VCRs, 
Yeah. They should be blinking 12 all the time. So I'll just leave it at that and we'll go ahead and hit uh, enter for that. Enter. And there you go. It is set. Now looking at the other options, you have the TV set up. Let's look at that. you got like the V chip, which is that uh, kind of like a ratings uh, type of chip on off timer and picture. Let's go down a picture and see what we see here. Ah, yes, you can control the brightness, contrast, color, tint, sharpness. Very good. So let's go ahead and hit back, back. You have the channels, uh, hold on, we're skipping the channel setup apparently. Uh, auto repeat on and off, system setup, what's that about? So, oh, that's the clock set again. Uh, language, so we can go down to language. So I think just three options. Well, I'm speaking English, so we'll keep it at that. We'll hit enter. Um, let's see, auto clock. You can set the different times and auto and recording times, etc. Standard time. We can go ahead and hit that. I am on the Pacific, but we'll just keep it at auto. That's kind of a cool feature there. And daylight savings. So yes, we still have daylight savings. Hopefully in the next couple of years, maybe we'll never see daylight savings again, but you can hit on, off, or auto. Let's just keep it at auto. Now we don't currently have a tape in there, but there is a, a program button right here. If you hit program, you get all these lines. Uh, and then if you hit enter, you can actually set uh, again, it can record, so if you have an input either from an antenna or let's say an, uh, an auxiliary DVD, let's say, you could record it on your VHS tape. Uh, you just set the uh, date, start time, end time, the channel, etc., and you could record things on your uh, VHS tape, which was cool at the time. Uh, today, you just use DVRs, but uh, in, in the day, you would record your TV shows, yes, on VHS tapes to play them back. And as you can see, you could uh, do multiple recordings. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight different timed recordings. So let's go ahead and put a uh, VHS tape in. I do have a Star Trek tape here. Uh, I'm not gonna play too much of it, so hopefully I won't get any uh, YouTube strikes. But we'll go ahead and stick this in and see what we get. Uh, I think it just starts playing automatically, and it is. You're getting a license only, so this is basically like the FBI warning saying do not record this tape. So um, it does show pretty well. I think I don't have it on mute, so no, it's not muting. So just to show you a couple of things on this, let's just maybe fast forward a little bit. We could fast forward and you can see that yes, indeed, it fast forwards. It rewinds, plays, and if we hit stop and it does have an inject button right here, but if we hit this right here, it should eject just fine. And yes, it does. So we'll go ahead and hit mute to get rid of that sound. Um, and I wanna show you uh, just uh, a cool feature here. There's this call button that's right here that I kinda like, so you hit call and you will get the, the date, the type of recording, and the time, and the different, uh, the, the play speed, so, or the record speed. So, um, so right now it's 28 seconds in, and as you fast forward, uh, you can see it will track the time. So that's kind of a cool feature. You, and you could just hit that call button in and out to get rid of it, just like that. And if you stop, it's still there and you can fast forward and you can see kind of uh, the timestamp on your tape as you watch it or rewind it or fast forward. And there you go. That is my Sansui TV VCR combo. Really cool unit. Again, if you have a, uh, if you like to travel and you have an RV, you can stick these in your RV powered with DC power. Pretty cool. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.